Hey everybody, what is up? This video here, I'm going to talk about my 1955 Mosin M44. Uh, this is my little honest personal review. And the only thing I've got to say is if you've got an extra 100, 150 bucks laying around and you know where there is a, a surplus Mosin rifle, either this one or the 9130, which is the long version, buy the damn thing because I don't know of any rifle I have ever bought that I like shooting more. You've got a big round, the 7.62x54R, plenty of knockdown power. You, you know, I think the Russians, that is their favorite round for shooting polar bear. Uh, you know, this was your, one of your standard infantry rifles back in World War II uh, for the Russians, and you know, your little other countries you got a hold of it started making it. This is actually a Romanian uh, version of the rifle. Now I got this rifle as I said in my other video for 60 bucks. Chances are you're not going to find one in this good shape for 60 bucks. I got a hell of a deal. I mean I practically hit this guy on the head and stole it. Um, I went to the range on Monday and it was cold about 9 o'clock in the morning. It was 35 degrees and it was drizzly and rainy. You know cold hands. Uh, didn't have any problem loading with a stripper clip five rounds and I was shooting my target at 400 maybe a little bit further 400 yards and I was hitting it every damn time with iron sights now some of you guys might be like oh it's only 400 yards but if you look at it for somebody that's never had a rifle and they're new you know new to the whole rifle gun thing whatever um, you cannot beat these old military surplus rifles affordability you got cheap rounds and nine times out of ten they still work great um, you know I think you can I think I looked what was it Saturday you can get a thousand rounds of the surplus ammo not the cheap super junk crap for a thousand rounds for three hundred and thirty three dollars I think and you just can't beat it I mean this one here is the shorter version and I honestly think, um, I mean, you could use this to hunt anything you want it with. Uh, you could use it as a home defense rifle. You know, if you didn't even have any bullets in it, you could clock them on the head. I mean, it's it's just a good, good gun. I just I don't have anything bad to say about it. So if you've got the money, go buy one or two or three, and uh, just hang on to them because they're just. I, there's nothing I can say. If you don't think this is a good gun, you're a douchebag. Just plain and simple. Um, it, it's just good. <laughs> Another thing that I did notice when I had the bayonet out when I was at the range, it seemed like I was a little bit more accurate, which I don't know if that's actually where the gun is or what maybe some of you uh, professional gun guys can kind of give me insight, you know, why that might be. Uh, another thing that I noticed, I had some spare, really cheap surplus ammo. And I think it was a shit made in China or Korea. I don't know. It was it was junk. But it shot for the most part. The only issue that I had, and I've read other Mosin owners have had the same issue with bad ammo, is once you shoot it a couple times, you might have a round that will hang up. Uh, when you go to eject, to pull the bolt back to get your spent round out, it jams up where you can't get this up. And what I had to do is let it sit for a few minutes and let it cool. I'm thinking the brass expanded inside here and it just wouldn't allow it to come out that's my opinion not a professional gun guy but i'm going to take and have it looked at by uh, my buddy down at the knob creek gun range kenny and i have him check it out and make sure everything's up to spec and all the parts are you know not worn out or nothing like that but you know i have nothing bad to say about this rifle or any of the other surplus military rifles that are popular the mosin the mauser you've got the sks you've got the british enfield I don't know, whatever, the, like the 1903 Springfield, uh, great rifles. But the thing about the American rifles, they are expensive. You know, they're, you know, $1,000. I mean, you're getting up there in price. 60, I'm going to say 60 bucks to, mm, on up, 250 bucks for one of these. Uh, I remember you used to find these all day for $100, $125. No big deal. So... If you're new to shooting and you want a big caliber rifle, you know, something that's not overly big, yeah, it's a little heavy. Uh, 
just a little. I mean, I'm I'm five seven, five eight with my tall shoes on, about two hundred twenty pounds. This right over here is no big deal for me at all. I could I could pump this thing, and, you know, if I was out you know backpacking or something like that, I wouldn't have a problem with a good sling. I really wouldn't. Um, but like I said, guys, well, hell, even you girls, uh, go get a Mosin if you want a good, just tried and true rifle that will do anything you ask of it you know it will accomplish the task so anyway guys girls you all have a uh, good evening and uh, I do believe it's a uh, beer time for me so if you got any questions or comments please shoot me a message and I'll get back with you see you later